What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon Sword and Shield and now we are playing the Crown Tundra DLC. This is the second DLC that has come out. Previously we played the Isle of Armor, in fact that's where I'm at right now, the Isle of Armor. You have a Crown Pass, show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. Sounds exciting, we'll go to that station first though, I want to thank you guys for your support on the Pokemon Sword and Shield series. You guys left over 56,000 likes on the very first episode, and now that episode has over 4.4 million views. Thank you so much. If you are watching this right now and have not subscribed, take the time to subscribe, please, because only 23% of my viewers are currently subscribed. We need to get that number up. Now, without further ado, let's move on. I got the crown pass. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's now my, my item. There you go, great. So the Wedger Station, I mean, we got to kind of venture off a little bit here to get there. Uh, but we will do so. Is there a way to quick travel all the way back? Or do I got to, like, go back here first? I don't really remember. Let's ride the bike. And then let's go over here. This is a pretty fast bike. Especially if I pedal it like this. Now, over here is the, uh, is the station back to Wedger, which we might need to take in order to get to the new area. So we're gonna do that. But I'm ready to record, I'm ready to go. I'm excited. Let's see, so, return me home. Uh, no. Retur okay, that's too bad, indeed. <laughs> return me. I wanna go to, can I go from here? No, I gotta go to Wedgehurst, that's okay. We're going directly to Wedgehurst. And then, hey, I'm already here, great. Do I show you? You have a Crown Pass too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Uh, where would you like to go today? Of course, the Crown Tundra Station, of course. We wanna hop right into this. I thought we'd have to be sitting through some load times, but we do not. So let's go over this way and find out what new things await for us. Oh, it's down here. Nice. Very cool. This place looks big. So I'm assuming we're going to have a similar adventure to the previous one. A similarly sized adventure to the previous one. Not, not the same adventure, of course. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen here. It's nice and snowy. looks nice and clean. Graphically. So yeah, I love the Pokemon Sword and Shield series. Hopefully you do too. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Sure, go ahead, your Pokedex is being updated. The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Excellent. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Now, I don't really focus on completing the entire Pokedex, but, you know, I could if I if I spent a lot of time. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. If that's true, if there are rockish Pokemon around here, and I have the type chart pulled up, that means the rock types are going to be weak to water, grass, fighting, ground, and steel. I happen to have quite a few good Pokemon, I think, that are up to the task here. And how do I, let's see, I know, I can't, I know, hold on. Who, who's in my party right now? I know that we got K-Dog, of course, and uh, he was uh, primarily a fighting type, right? Let's check the summary, let's let's take a look at all these Pokemon. Yeah, he's a fighting dark. Uh, there's a water rock, I mean, that's good right there, right? Psychic Fairy, Ghost Ground, good, 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 Electric Poison, and a Fire. And, I mean, I'm pretty, I don't know who I'll switch out, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. This guy ended up being really good. I got him up to, like, level 100, so. And then, uh, this dude, did I not, K-Dog. K-Dog, I should have named him uh, U-Dog. But, K -Dog, I named him K-Dog, because the original Cub Fu name. Anyway, hey, let's, let's get back into this really quick. Let's, uh, let's see who we're going to get. What's up, dude? Pokemart, I'm here to buy. Uh, do I really need? I only have like one Pokeball. I have a bunch of Ultra Balls, Super Potion, Hyper Potion. I got 15. Max Potion. I got 15. I think I'm gonna be doing pretty well here. So let's. I'm good. Let's let's exit this area here. All right. I want to see it. So of course, new things to encounter, new uh, dungeon fights, whatever they're called. I'm excited. I need to be wearing warmer clothes, though. Come on, Dad, lay off and quit following me already. Who says that? 
I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max layer, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've got to say no thanks. <laughs> well, let me go meet this cool dad here. Hey, cool daddy -o. Come on, Nia, be reasonable. Or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble roar of dad. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. All right. Excuse me, hello, yes, you, the boy over there. My dad is stubborn as steel, and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would ya? Uh, sure. Brilliant. <laughs> Have a great time with this geezer, then. Now hold on, lad. Can't say I approve you button in blindly. Well, hey, I'm here to simp, so let me do what I do. But if, if I just give you a trouncing, this young lady here ought to see reason. The name's Peony. <laughs> Praise yourself. No offense to anyone out there named Peony, but but I've never heard that name before, so <laughs> it made me laugh. I, I brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. All right, what are you gonna throw at me, Peony? Uh, you were challenged by Pokemon trainer Peony. <laughs> All right, Kaparaja. Okay, okay, okay. So they said cold as steel, right? Because I think is hold on, Kaparaja. Is Kaparaja himself a steel? What is he? What is he? Hold on. I forgot to read what he said. No, he is a uh, he is a steel. So weak things that are weak. Fire, fighting. I already have my fighting guy from last time, Cub Fu. So uh, he's level 70. Okay, let's do a uh, let's do a close combat here. Here we go. Boom. Gotcha. How'd you like that? Super effective. Not bad, not bad at all, but watch out. Next time, it's my turn. You may not get a turn. My defense fell. That's okay. Copper Jaw fainted. All right. Now, do I keep K-Dog or do I, you know, perhaps bring in F-Dog or something? I don't know. What was that? What hit me? Okay, Agron. I don't know what the heck Agron is, but I could, I could look it up really quick and just to see... Uh, Agron is going to be another steel type uh, or maybe a steel rock type so if that guy comes out hmm, steel rock so if it's both steel and rock that would mean fighting is extra worth it so keep the current Pokemon steel's tough as they come the more hits it takes the the more ultra mega what <laughs> what all right, here he is. I'm just gonna pummel him, you know. I'm just gonna do what I do. I'm gonna fight him, and I'm gonna close combat him. Thanks to K Dog here. Oh, he's still alive. Super effective. He's sturdy. Endured the hits, and I my defense and special defense is falling greatly. And he just ate a nut, or what did he eat? A seed? A berry? Okay. Body press. I don't know about this. I don't like this. I'm I fainted. K Dog fainted. Are you kidding me? All right, all right. I get it. I get it. Very, very fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now, fire won't work very well because of the fact that uh, rock has protection against it, but water will work. So, D Dog is coming out here with a water attack. Here we go. Fight with a liquidation. There you go. Now that's gonna take care of him. All right, super effective. We're right into the battles here. Right here, right now. D-Dog uh, did not level up, but T-Dog leveled up. All right, he's surprised. Guess it's not my place to be bragging. All right, yeah, go, go hide your shame. <laughs> Look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm. Yeah, where did she go, huh? My darling daughter's disappeared. Where, where have you gone? My sweet Nia. Darling daughter, huh? Are you sure sweet's the word? Oh, come on. I, I have to insult it either, either way. Of course, my Nia's the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. 
That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. <laughs> Must be. I mean, I've, I've, I've kind of become a sarcastic guy, right? That's the type of girl she is, ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't start this adventure of legendary sports I planned for us. She mentioned waiting, wanting, wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Layer, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time, which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers uh, for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. Indeed, indeed. I do have strong Pokemon. He's running that way. All right. Uh, now, here. Let me just in my bag. Since I already have the abilities, uh, I'm going to use the revive on K-Dog. Sure. And then uh, go ahead and, you know, maybe use some um, hyper potion on K-Dog as well. How about that? That sounds good. Now it's all good. All right, so let's take a look around here. Now, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not in the, a huge mood to, here, let me shake this tree. Shake it. I'm gonna shake it three times. It's one, two, one more time. Third time's a charm. I'm done shaking trees. Quit. I'm done. There you go. That's a good shake right there. And then I'm gonna go look over here. Don't. <laughs> that'd be funny if my character just tumbled off the edge there. Like, don't fall. Uh... Oh, I got an ultra ball. I already had several ultra balls. Don't look at me. I'm gonna ride away. All right. So where? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. What just happened? Okay. Yeah, I see him over there. Aha, this must be the max layer that Neo was talking about, which means my darling daughter is in there right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. All right. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. I guess so. Right. Just you hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa. All right. Uh, let, let's go, then. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Big boy spawn in front of me. Here comes Papa Zack. <laughs> All right, we are in a max layer. That's interesting. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm gonna go in after her. I understand, sir, but but what? I, I I'm here to have an adventure. I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Grr. Yeah, what's up? What's the deal here? Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? All right. Nothing's all right, and everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpty of... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... Ah, I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you uh, to enter as a pair. Ah, now you're talking. Go on, then. Let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right. All right, so what does she have to say? What do you have to say? Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Yes. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then I will proceed. All right, tell us all about it. The Max Layer is a labyrinth, uh, labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Okay. Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Layer. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon uh, they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore the den, you'll come into branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon, and you can swap it with one that you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. That's interesting. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we've prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle's effects. Right, right, I follow you. 
You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon, so the Pokemon rent some particles, so we might see a rare, o and we might see a rare overexposure. That was suddenly incorrect, sir. Yeah, I wasn't following him either. This is a dangerous place. Please, please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, huh? Right. Sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. Sir, no, I, I just told you it's too dangerous. What's going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Well, I wonder if he's a brother. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. All right, I will, but I'll talk to everyone else first before I go in here. What's this say? Perhaps it's measuring something. The readings seem to be fluctuating. What's up? Sablish. I, didn't mean to, I did not mean to talk to that. I've got wonderful items to offer you in exchange for Dynite Ore. I don't think I have any Dynite Ore, but I do have a large candy and XL candy still. Uh, I have Armorite Ore from, but no, she's not gonna accept them. Do come again. All right. Uh, we have Pokemon helping us out with our investigations too, you know. All right, here we go. Let's just go in. Let's see what this is all about. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you uh, with Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also, I'll also allow you to keep one, just one, of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? Yes, please. Yeah, let's save it so far. I guess we're just going right in. Let's see what this adventure is all about. Uh, you're still new to Dynamax adventures, so we're suggesting, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some of your friends to join. So don't invite others. Uh, I got Poppy, Amelia, and Oscar here. And I can select from a few different types of Pokemon. And they are they're all very similar. Uh, the difference is that this guy has an ice move. Uh, geez Louise, Rock Dragon. Sure, let's do Rock Dragon. I guess. Okay, so I see, they're all, okay, they all get to select. So that's interesting, I get to choose first so I don't have to worry about balancing things. So, uh, I wish I would've paid attention to what they had though, oh my gosh. There's a strong water type reaction. Okay. So I picked Rock Dragon. So, I personally, I, I personally think that I would do great going uh, against, uh, I mean, I would not do great going against Grass, but going against Rock, I mean, Rock against Rock, uh, dang it, dude. I don't know. Okay, we chose it. I was trying to look up some chart stuff. I, I wish I would have paid closer attention to what my teammates chose, because that is probably pretty important to this. But I'm Dragon, so I can attack Dragon. <laughs> and steal. Okay. Yep, yeah, hi. I don't know about that. All right, I'm gonna fight and do, do Dynamax. Oh, that's super effective. Okay. I didn't pay any, I didn't pay much attention at all to my moves, honestly. But this should work pretty well. I really should have paid attention. I should pay attention to the what's coming up next as well. Hello. Okay, that does a little bit of damage. Come on, let me do my thing. Max Rockfall. Boom! Now that was pretty good. Super effective. All right, and the sandstorm kicked up. All right. Oh my gosh, that guy got hurt. Critical hit, so what do I wanna do? Do something. All right, I'll just do another uh, max rock fall. That was good. This will be better. Boom! Armaldo. Now I guess we can we can capture him. I guess do we have to? 
Here, I'm just gonna catch. I'm just gonna use like a. Uh, where's my good balls? Great ball. I'm gonna use a great ball, I guess. I mean, do I really care? I mean, I don't really want to catch this, capture this guy, do I? All right, hold on. Armaldo is a rock bug. I didn't realize he would also be a bug, but it, it played in my favor because, you know, bugs are, of course, uh, weak to rock attacks. So, hold on, I want to swap Pokemon, do I? Uh, no, I, I'm good without it, I'm good without it, there we go. So I have a rock, fighting, and dragon move. Rock, fighting, and dragon. So, rock, fighting, dragon. Ice, dragon, so I could do go against the dragon. So rock, fight, I could go against the dragon. Let's go against the dragon. That could be interesting. Because I'm, I'm a dragon myself. And if he doesn't attack me, <laughs> then that's fine. Oh, okay, 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 this guy, Dragonair. Now, let's see, do I want, oh, we have someone injured here, fight. Oh, I can't Dynamax, dude. It's okay, I'll do, uh, okay, I should have realized that. I thought it would be like a fresh one each time, but I get it, we're kind of all in a line here. Scale shot, don't attack me. Okay, thank you. Don't attack me either, okay, thanks. Come on, give, give me a chance here. I know, you get your multiple chances. What, what fell? Defense fell, I like that. But what what went up? Speed rose, okay. Here's a scale shot. Boom, dude. Can I do it multiple times too? Oh, heck yes. Oh, heck yes. Thank you for making your defense fall. That was great. I knew it was a good choice to go, come in here with the dragon. Of course, my defense fell, so if he attacks me next, then that's not very good. But my speed's up. But his speed's up too. Missed, what does mist do? What does that do? Okay, I'm shrouded mist. Oh, oh, that was nice. All right, now do I really? I don't want to. I don't want to capture this. I don't. I don't care about capturing this. Just my feel, feelings on the matter. I don't feel like catching it. All right. All right. So I what? Okay, ghost fire or water? Let's see. Uh, ghost, fire, or water. Ghost can be attacked by ghost or dark. I don't have any dark move. Fire can be attacked by water, ground, or rock. Let's go against the fire then, because I have a rock move. Right? And after this, I think we're going to be solid gold. And I don't know what the, the final... Was the final thing a water type? I don't know. Oh, we got Combuskin. Alright, and a Combuskin is a fire fighting type. Uh, so let's fight. Let me do an effective. They're all effective. None of them are super effective. I'll just do a scale shot then. Okay. There you go. Now I imagine these can get more and more complicated as time goes on. This, this is kind of a fun little mini game in a way. There you go, get him, get him, get him. My, now, don't attack me because my defense is a little low, so. <laughs> What's with the mist? Feather dance. Oh yeah, protected by the mist, perfect. Dang, that's a good hit. All right, I'm not gonna Dynamax, I'm gonna do superpower. It's effective, why not give it a shot, right? All right. He's almost there. Almost there. He's falling so much. He's gone. I don't want to cap capture him. Alright. No, I'm good. Someone else can catch him, maybe. I don't know. Alright. All right. And now we're out of water. Okay. Who's this? Oh, wow. 
Suicune? Is Suicune new? All right, I'll do my best. I don't know what's good against him. Fight. These are all just effective, but I might as well Dynamax and then do, uh, let's do, let's just do this. All right. Get him, please. That's a pretty big boy, right? No, this is not new. Who got hit? Here comes a max rock fall. This is not new at all. The game mask got a Pokemon crystal. Not new at all. I don't know why I thought it was new. I still haven't seen it before. I guess because they're talking about like Pokemon you haven't seen in this game or something. I don't know. But they said we can keep one, so I'm gonna try to capture this guy. So it's just a water type, you know. That person just van. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh boy. Are we are we gonna be able to finish this? All right, let's do, can I look at the info here? Power 130, I already used that one. Let's try this one. Lowers the target's attack stat, speed. How about max knuckle? Here we go. Goodness. Now, if, what if we don't beat this? I'm gonna be very sad if we don't beat this. If we may not, we may not be strong enough, honestly. I didn't know what was at the end here. If I would have known like what was at the end, I would have picked something specifically to address what was at the end. Yeah, yeah, we all get hit by Sandstorm, I get it. All right, good. There we go, there we go, come on, let's do this. Another Max Knuckle coming for you. Boom, I mean, it's such a weak. It's only halfway there, basically. But their attacks get buffed, and that's that's gonna be like, what I hope really helps. I did nothing. There's a focus blast. That was good. Well, still not not much. Liquidation, this is okay. We're, we're, we're picking away at Subacoon. What, what is this? What's happening? Okay, darn. Nullified some stuff that oh man it fainted. All right, well, I know. Water pulse. Hey, don't mess with me. I'm, I'm a big boy. All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Oh great. Okay, well. All right, all right. Let's do. Uh, do we want to do rock blast? Five, twenty-five. Let's do the body slam then. Body slam time. Max Geyser. I don't like this. I don't like this. That wasn't me. It's not raining. Come on. Why are you getting like two moves? I'm almost dead. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna beat this. Uh, paralyzed though. All right, all right. Critical hit, still not doing wonderful. All right, come on, this guy's back. Some buskins back. I'm worried that I'm gonna get hit again. I'll just continue fighting. I won't heal myself. Come on. Dang, I'm dead, dang it. All right, I fainted, that's okay. I know, I know. I wish I would have picked something specifically to target water types. Almost gone, come on. That did nothing. 
Can I come back now? Okay. That was a weak shot. Cheer on. There we go. I'm cheering. Yay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Let, let us go again. Here we go. Let us let us attack one more time. Okay, never mind. We're not doing too hot here. Do we have to do this again? I mean, these aren't even our Pokemon. Yeah, we got kicked out. Are you kidding me? Looks like this adventure has reached its end. All right, I guess I'll keep this dude. And we got three Dynite Ores. Okay. So, yeah, I, I wish I would have just chosen... Yeah, cool. Uh, no nickname. I wish I would have chosen something... Send to the box. I wish I would have chosen something that was specifically against water. Because then I would have done way better at the end of there. I, I wasn't really thinking about that. Alright. Maybe you'll spot Peony's daughter somewhere. So what's happening then? Here I go. What am I, what am I doing here? There we go. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked, guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. <laughs> nice to properly meet you. Uh, what about you? What's your name? I'm Z-Dog. Wow, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. He has He's got turned around and wound up back at the entrance. Has he? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I left? Yeah, yeah, they went okay. What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know, even on holiday. He's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd planned for us to check out uh, local legends on this super intense adventure tour, or event tour, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some nas, some naff stuff like that? I don't know what the word naff is. Some na with her dad. Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about about it gets me pumped. Hehe. <laughs> you know what? I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's Aventor. Sounds like I'd rather not. Thanks, but sure. Let's just say it sounds like great fun. Too, too right, it does. It's a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all of this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows? Uh, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after... Go on, then. I actually clicked the button. Enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and, and all that. Okay, so the deal is I'm your new son, old man. But also, I didn't complete this, unfortunately. But I did get one Pokemon out of the deal. That's okay. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> no. Or, or I hope not. <laughs> That'd be funny if he was just dead. Oh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? What happened? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and, and struck his head. We should get him to the hospital. That's like actually very dangerous. Uh, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I learned that first head now. First hand, I mean. <laughs> I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? <laughs> there we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? I did, but. Hmm, you don't say. So, dear Nia's set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go out, to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Aventor? You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at the age when she doesn't want her old man's tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? I'm Z-Dog. <laughs> I'm Z-Dog. Everyone knows me, I'm Z-Dog. Cheers, Z-Dog. My name's Peony. Wait. Have I already told you so? <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. I got his league card, great. 
Yeah, let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be Nia will be itching to join in the fun. Yes, let's. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. Gahaha. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat uh, of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Z Dog, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Aventor. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post haste. Ha, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> yeah, who? If you, just imagine you talking weird. That would be that would be quite the thing. So, um, you know, I don't want to do another tour right now. I could probably just go in and do it. I, I should have picked something weak against water. That's okay. We'll have plenty of times to go in there and do a Dynamax tours, I assume. But he's running off to the next area. We should probably consider following him just to see where he ends up. He's wearing nice warm weather stuff. Where's he going for real, huh? Well, let's uh, let's get this bike a moving. He went this way, right? No, what? Where'd he go? I, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I suppose he went this way. Now I know. I was paying attention. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, he went this way, I think. No, wait, that's the uh, wrong button. Hold on. I got some experience candy. Okay, for real, where'd he go? I just want to know where he went. Got a revive. Got an experience candy. So he surely didn't go. Where did he go? I thought I was following. I, th I, I thought. I thought I was looking at where he was going, honestly. Like, I thought he was going this way. For real. Oh, no, wait. Maybe he went this way. Yeah, this, is, this has got to be it. This is, like, the only other way that I don't know. Wait, that just looped us around. How is it that I do Okay, this way. There we go. Whew, close call, right? All right, what is this place? Freezington. Crown Tundra. Freezington Town. How are they? How would they have crops when it's like this? That doesn't make any sense. Hello, hello. What have we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say it's a surprise that visitors arriving in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Yes, that's why I'm here. Ah, uh, never mind, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all the way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made this journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. A Freezington fame, a Freezington's fame boat neck sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid that it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance, hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the King really looked like, we suggest take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. All right. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. What button is that again? Oi. Oi. Hey, buddy. Over here, Z-Dog. Yeah, yeah, I see ya. I see ya. All right. So how, how do I let my Pokemon out for a stroll? There he is. I guess he's just out. I don't... He's ready to make a kill in here. Should I talk to people? Our village may not be the liveliest place, but it does, but do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that old statue, but enjoy the one sight anyway. I'm going in your house. Don't worry, I won't steal too much. It's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay a while and get warmed up? Hey, kid. Do you like walking around together with your favorite Pokemon? Yes. Right, it's the best. Enjoy walking together all over the place. 
You decided to have your lead Pokemon walk around with you in Crown Tundra. I did, or did you decide that for me? No, I decided it. I decided, I'll admit it, I decided it. What's up, my dude? Hello there, welcome, I've got some lovely goods for sale. Pokeball, Moo Moo Milk, Lava Cookie, okay. Do come again. What's up? All our youngins have gone out to live in the big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with only our Pokemon. Now hold on. How do Okay, I guess I gotta go around. I can't can't walk across. Wait, how do I go around? Oh wait, wait, wait. Was there a door over here? There might have been. Oh, that's Foofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. I know, I think it was just about when I found Foofy that the other strange Pokemon began, began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Foofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it, if only I could find a dependable one. That's me, I'm, I'm so ready to take care of Foofy. Okay, I can't get through this door, so I'm just gonna ignore it for now. I don't know what, like, I don't know how this walkthrough is structured, you know? But uh, well, uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll talk. I'm sure we'll talk and figure out what to do next. Uh, I wish I would have beaten my first Dynamax adventure. I really do, but that's okay. Let's talk over here. What's up, girls? Every year the cold seems to bite harder. It's getting to be too much for these old bones. When you're trudging through snow, you've got to really stamp down on your heels. Helps keep you from face planting in a snowdrift. I wish I would stop hitting this button, by the way. Found a leak. What's up? Welcome to Freezington. It must have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Thunder is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir. Yes, please. Hello. <laughs> quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dynite ore, and I'll give you the seeds. Hoo hoo, ho ho, <laughs> life is all about quid pro go, or whatever the phrase was. Pokemon pro go. <laughs> to the polls. Uh, yeah, I can get over here though, right? I keep hitting the wrong button. Utility umbrella. Okay, protects from rain and sunlight. I got a nugget. There's also some sort of a ball over here. Uh, I can't cut through. I gotta cut around. And then we'll go talk to the dude inside the place. Uh, wherever, wherever that is. Blunder policy. Raises speed sharply when a Pokemon misses with a move because of accuracy. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Amnesia. Nice. All right. So what's gonna be next? I'm gonna barge into this home. But um, Bell, no one's home. No one's home. This house is the same as the other home, but no one's at this one. Can I really not? Oh, here, here's the yeah, a statue of a Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Weird. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead and go in here. Got a wishing piece. All right. Aha, there you are, here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. All right. But as, <laughs> as of this moment, it's also something far more important, our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about, Z-Dog. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Round here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests, not to mention a massive red tree where lengthy flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great hawk and dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. 
etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we've found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. <laughs> and that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. All right. Of course, if I had it my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows? They say even uh, chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. So here's a, it's probably a Pokemon Pong. So, so here's a grand adventure expedition, Chief Z-Dog. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pining for her papa. Ah, nope, not on my watch. I'll never let it happen. So, I'll be the hold down the fort chief, which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. Go ha ha. Okay, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty cool with this because I don't mind going off and leaving him behind. <laughs> which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Oh, I got an expedition uniform. Let's put it on. Did he? Did he just watch me change? <laughs> he just watched me change. <laughs> I look pretty nifty though, right? Yeah, ha, ha, look at that. Fits you like a glove. <laughs> I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. What's a kip? I've got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. All right. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. All right, I put legendary clue one in their bag's key items pocket. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Bioni, and an old photo was attached to it. Uh, that's it. That's the thing. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, uh, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Was this crown on his table? Legendary clue two also. Don't forget about it. Uh, the legendary giants looks like I drew that far far into the giants bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps on the temple's door are strange words let the um, Pokemon chain one the door remains firmly shut Sunken at the side of the snow slide slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps on the temple's door are the words uh, together given uh, stall snow I don't know man I'm not very good at wheel of fortune the <laughs> door remains firmly shut uh, near where the green meets the snow, in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps on the temple's door, or let out, uh, the door, okay, I don't know, uh, ooh, two giants sleep, on the distant path of the three-point pass lies a temple where two giants sleep on the temple's door, are strange words, all right, legendary clue, th how many clues, I'm getting a raging clue here, number three, uh, about the legend of bird Pokemon, when the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a giant tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. They, they are legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of, of dedicated telewatching. Alright, first off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests? Seems like, seems like this king's bounds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So I, if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The sacred bonds of sovereign and steed. <laughs> All right. There's a great big statue of it banging in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. All right. Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? No, no. I'm I'm liking this look. No need to change. Time to investigate the legends surrounding the crown tundra. Aha! I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Master Ball, thank you, dude. This is supposed to be one ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it when, wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back. Come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front, handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let's the let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. All right, smashing time indeed. I'm pretty sure that this is something important. Hey, Chief, my pillows caught your eye, huh? 
Your pillow? Oh, hey, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you could put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Kip must mean sleep. Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on and found this out, out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C c come off it. You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. But um, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? Ah, uh, Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Yeah, good point. Who are you to refuse? Don't refuse me. All right, all right, all right. Go on, then. Have it. But you better make sure that to track that legend down. I think it's gonna be simple. Maybe not, though. But there we go, you obtain a wooden crown. All right. A mysterious object made of wood, part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. I mean, I certainly think it's meant to be part of something. What the heck? What the heck? Am I right? Could be right. Oh, yeah, these are all the places that will go. Oh, the places will go. Very cool. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty big adventure, I think. Or at least the size of last one, maybe a little more. And I'm pretty sure that thing goes on top of that statue, honestly. And that's what we'll do at the start of next episode. Ooh, that guy scared me. K-Dog here. Thanks for watching. I'm Z-Dog. Signing out night but hey thanks for playing thanks for watching uh, i really appreciate all of your support thanks for liking this video i will see you next time for more in the crown tundra i'm zach scott subscribe if you have not if you like this video and want to help this channel grow all you got to do is click the like button below thank you so much for watching you can now join and become an official member of zach scott games and if you want cool shirts like this visit zachscott.shop